there's an elusive missing link to happiness, which is very unfortunate because happiness itself is often very elusive. You ask people all over the world what they really, 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 really want, it's to be happy. It's what they want for their children, it's they want what they want for the people they love, it's what they want. Now, if you look around in literature and you ask your friends and you ask your partners and you ask your business colleagues, everybody will have their own kind of different answer to it. When you look more closely at academic literature, it kind of begins to get clear. So the beginning of happiness, of defining it anyway, is the absence of negative feeling. You can't feel awful and be happy at the same time. It seems obvious, but you know, nice to write it all out. The next bit is the presence of positive feeling. So to fe have some kind of really feel good feeling. Now that in itself can be kind of complicated because feeling good means something very specific here. It doesn't mean feeling righteous or powerful or like, yeah, I did that guy in. Those aren't good feelings. Those are triumphant feelings. That's something else. Feeling good. Okay, so the next bit, actually, let me stay with this one. So another important part about this is that if you have an absence of, pos of, absence of negative feeling and the presence of positive feeling, you're not happy yet. People can be on drugs and have lots of feel-good feelings, but they're missing the third ingredient for happiness, and that is meaning. Unless something has meaning for you, it isn't going to be happy. And the literature kind of stops there, and the missing link is higher meaning, deeper purpose. It may feel good to vanquish an enemy, and it can have a higher consequence within all kinds of sorts of outlaying, like you got the deal, or you got your girl to say yes, or you got your kid into this school that was really competitive, and it's a triumph of sorts. And yes, it does have far-reaching consequences, but that's not about higher meaning quite yet in the way that I'm talking about it. It may be in line with your values of doing the best you can for your family or your business or whatever, but you're still not there yet. Because real happiness, and this is the missing link bit, real happiness comes from the meaning that is in alignment with the core identity of who you really are underneath all of what you think you are. And what I'm talking about here are core values of, and some of these may surprise you, kindness, generosity, strength, compassion. And by strength, I'm talking about holding boundaries, the strength to stand up for what you believe in, the strength to be honest, for instance, those sorts of strengths. Not the strength to metaphorically or literally punch somebody in the face or knock them out in one way or another. That's not strength. That's often actually weakness. That's an, another thing I'll talk about another time. The missing link for happiness is being in alignment with who you really are, and that is your own internal, unshakable, unbreakable goodness.